Hey, what's up you guys? It's Andrew or pre Designs HD and today I got another Cinema 4D tutorial for you guys. Now today in Cinema 4D I'll be showing you guys a little bit more complicated effect in Cinema 4D. So if you guys are new to Cinema 4D, just follow along, pay attention to every instruction and it shouldn't be a problem for you guys. So let's look at what effect we're going to be making today. Now I've been getting a lot of requests to uh, show you guys how to make this effect. Now we're not going to be focusing on the film grain or the um, kind of globe texture that we have on the um, sphere. But we're going to be uh, focusing on how to make the text wrap around the sphere and move. So um, let's take a look at it and uh, see what we're going to be making. So as you guys see, um, the uh, text is just kind of wrapping around the sphere and stuff. And um, it looks pretty nice and it looks nice and clean. So that's what we're going to be recreating uh, here in Cinema 4D. So let's just jump right into it. So we're going to open up Cinema 4D. And uh, as you guys see right here, I just made a simple um, sphere with a wrapped text around it. Um, if you guys want the same uh, visual effects uh, as lighting goes, um, I use Grayscale Gorilla's um, light pack. It was very amazing. It's only $25, and um, I don't think you guys will be very disappointed. Uh, his link will be in the description um, to the light pack as well as fan, uh, Film Fan Pete. Uh, go check out his channel and uh, stuff like that. So uh, let's just delete all of this stuff, and um, we'll get right into it. Alright guys, so is what we're going to come up here and do is we're going to hold down here on uh, this kind of like almost wavy uh, type tool and we're just going to hold down that and select on text. Alright, so it'll uh, bring up this two dimensional text and if we just render that out real quick, you guys will see nothing. Um, that's because uh, there's no uh, you know real path to it yet. So uh, we'll be making the path along here as well. So, um, but first off, we're just going to click on text and then this box will appear with text. You're just going to name it anything you want. I'm just going to name this tutorial. All right. And, uh, you can also click on that and change your font. So I'll just change the font to, um, uh, we'll just go alternate Gothic. All right. Okay guys. So now is what we're going to do is we're going to come back up to that same tool and we're going to go to circle. All right, so this will uh, make a nice little circle right here, and you guys are just going to come down to you guys' rotation, and in the middle, just type in 90, and that will then move it to 90 degrees. Um, for some reason, mine does not want to move, uh, so we're just going to move it um, however much we want. Uh, I believe if we just move it to right about there, that'll be fine. All right. So now is what we're going to do is we're going to want to um, make the text go around this circle. So to do that, all you have to do is come back up here and go to um, this almost little 3D arc uh, tool right here and just come down to spline wrap. Now I'm using uh, Cinema 4D R12. Um, I know it does um, affect some things. Uh, in R11 and R13. So um, if you guys don't see the spline wrap, just find wherever you guys is, um, all your guys is like effects are like you know share more morph you know bend stuff like that, and uh, you guys will be able to perfectly find it. So now we're gonna want to make this spline wrap a child of the text. Now to make um, basically is what that means is we're just gonna bring the spline wrap over the text until we see this down arrow. Now if you see, if we put it in the middle of the circle and text, it's gonna make it move just in between them. Well, we wanna make this an actual child of the text. So we're just gonna drop that on there. And you guys aren't gonna see too much happen yet. But is what we're going to do is we're gonna click on the spline wrap, and then uh, you guys will see this little gray bar right here um, that says spline. And then we're just gonna bring the circle down into that. And now you guys will see um, this sort of uh, effect now that we have um, following up on that. Now, uh, if we click on the circle, you guys will see that uh, it will rotate and everything like that. Um, we can, you know, obviously flip it around so that it's right side up and stuff. Um, let's see, right about there. Nope, nope, it doesn't work. <laughs> All right, we're just right there. We'll be good. All right, now as you guys see, um, the T and the L are kind of touching. So to uh, get rid of that, we're just going to come to spline wrap. And actually, is what you guys can do is you guys can just change the from and to. So as you guys see, um, if I increase the from, it'll make it all together. But as you guys see also, the tutorial is facing inside the circle. Well, we want it to be outside the circle um, so we can actually read it 
uh, without having to see it on the inside. So this is what you guys are going to want to do is change the from all the way up and then you guys are going to want the to to come out. So just like that and now we can read tutorial across the two dimensional text. So I'm just going to make the two um, to about we'll say 70 percent. Alright and now is what we're going to do is we're going to 3D the text. Now to 3D it all we have to do is come up here to this uh, little box up here and go to extrude NURBS and then we're just going to drop the text right into the extrude NURBS just like that but if you guys um, do rotate upwards you guys will see that um, the text is 3D but it's 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 almost morphed like it's going inwards and it doesn't look very clean now to get rid of that all we have to do is we just have to bring out the text and bring it down just, so just like that and now it'll make it two dimensional again and now we just have to bring the text so just bring the spline wrap above it and then below it again and for some reason it acted really weird and then we're going to drag that into there drag the text like that and then drag the spline wrap under the um, text tool again now if you guys didn't catch that because uh, it was kind of confusing this is where the complicated part uh, comes in so the spline wrap is a child of the text right now so you guys are going to want to take the spline wrap move it above the text okay and then after you move it above the text you just want to move it below the text not into the text so it's a child again you want to make it below the text and now you guys will have uh, much cleaner um, text and it looks uh, very nice in 3D now. <laughs> um, so now after we have that, we can just lay down a uh, sphere. So to lay down a sphere, you just come up to this 3D cube, go to sphere, and it'll load, uh, locate a sphere right in the middle. And then uh, if you guys just come over to uh, the second button over here, we just increase the size until it's kind of touching you don't want it quite touching because you don't want it uh, you don't want it to be too powerful of an effect so just like that and now we have the tutorial around that and now just to move the tutorial around it you guys don't actually click on the extra nerves the text the spline wrap you guys actually just need to um, touch the circle so if we just come over here to the rotate tool now you guys see that it'll rotate around it very nice and clean so if I want it right here on the timeline and then at 60 frames, I want it to rotate once. And then just keyframe that again. So as you guys see, then it will rotate around. All right, guys, so now for your finishing touches, all we want to do is um, lay down some colors. So I have made a uh, kind of a white reflection for the sphere. So I'm just going to drop that over the sphere. And then a uh, gray kind of color uh, right there now um, if you guys do want to uh, know what I use for my lighting I use um, from grayscale gorilla like I said I use the um, skylight which is really effective um, it gives like really nice um, kind of open air um, effect and then I use a uh, overhead softbox which is located right above it and I use just a regular softbox to um, to get the lighting directly on uh, where I want it to be so I want it to be right about there and we'll say a little bit more over this way and right about there yeah and then we'll just rotate that right there and just move that like that and move it again and now we have that and now if we just render this out real quick we will see um, that it reads the tutorial wrapped around it and it looks really nice and um, yeah guys so that's how you wrap the text around a path around a sphere so uh, guys I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial a little complicated um, where you know you're trying to make the 3d text look a little bit nice and professional but guys I hope you guys enjoyed it if you guys like the tutorial definitely give it a thumbs up um, and if you guys disliked it dislike it but tell me why of course in the comment sections below and leave other feedback in the comment sections below as well so guys until next time i'm andrew from preeminence hd where i make quality gfx for free and i make your visions a reality